night, what a night. I've been here for 10 years now, and I have to tell you, my Cantonese is getting pretty good. I've come up to five words now. I remember the days, you know, when a phone used to ring and somebody used to be chattering away in Cantonese. Hello? Hello? Do you speak English? They would just hang up. I didn't know who it was or what they wanted. So then I decided, well, I'm going to put my Cantonese to good use. The next time the phone rings, Hawaii, Aya, Hawa, Hawa, Aya. Okay, bye bye. I was pretty proud of myself. Of course, the problem was, I had no idea what they were saying. So the next time I go to the office, there's a strange package on my desk. I open it up, it's a sex toy. Apparently, I had signed up for the sex toy of the week club on the phone. So these things, you know, keep, you know, keep coming and coming, and, well, you know, arriving, not that kind of coming. You know, and, you know, the secretaries are looking at me like, I am, I'm not quite one. You know, I got this one this week, it's called Big Red. And this thing has a button, it plays music. It's like a Teresa Tong love song. You know? I mean, it sounds just like a mobile phone ringtone. I'm thinking, well, you know, ladies, if you're using one of these things and it sounds just like a mobile phone, you've got to be very careful which device you pop into your purse on a Monday morning. <laughs> It'd be very embarrassing. But really, why don't they just invent a combination sex toy mobile phone? They both vibrate. <laughs> you know, I can see it now. The new Nokia 3300 personal assistant. <laughs> Business by day, pleasure by night. <laughs> Hey, we're all looking for efficiency. This is Hong Kong, you know? I tell you. But, you know, I, I really got into, uh, uh, you know, these mobile phones. I mean, does everyone here have a mobile phone? Yeah. Or is that a stupid question? Yeah. <laughs> but, Amy, what are up with these ringtones nowadays? I mean, you know, nowadays, you know, used to have a, you know, in the past, you know, there's a basic ringtone. But nowadays, what is up with these ringtones? They've got, you know, different music. Or what about dogs barking? Or what about like, you know, babies crying? I mean, is the point to have the most obnoxious ringtone so you'll pick it up a little bit faster? You know, I mean, really, what's next? Like, uh, fingernails on a chalkboard. I tell you, I started really getting into these ringtones, and the one place I found in Hong Kong that has the widest variety is the cinema. <laughs> Have you guys heard this? I go to the cinema last week. I hear 53 different ringtones during the film. That's right, you know, and they're... And they're, they're all around you. The guy next to me, he's got the theme to Hawaii Five-0 on his phone. And he lets it ring for five times as he holds it at arm's length to see if he really wants to talk to that person. And then, what is up with the chit-chat? It's everywhere, you know? And then, the people next to me, I've got the mother-daughter combo translating the film line by line. You know, and if that's not enough, oh yeah, the kicking of the seat starts. Have you guys heard this? Have you experienced this? But this time, I'm getting so upset with this whole experience, I get up to scold these people in back of me, and I hear this. I look back, they're playing Mahjong. <laughs> the guy looks up at me and goes, Oh, yo, yo, want to uh, join now? We need one more player. Uh. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm a little bit burnt out in the whole cinema experience. So I'm watching a lot of TV these days. I, I went home and uh, watched TV uh, just the other night, and uh, they had this you know, 24 hour news channel, and it's like breaking news. <laughs> breaking news! American President George W. Bush is announcing a surprise visit to Hong Kong. Announcing a surprise visit? I think like, well, this would be great. George W. is far more entertaining than anything you'd ever see in cinema. So I can see it now, George W. coming up for a press conference. All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank y'all for your kind hospitality. Most especially, I'd like to Thank uh, Chief Executor uh, Donald T. Sang. I mean, I sure couldn't get used to that karaoke from last night and all those female concubines. Uh, uh, advisors. Entertainment advisors. 
But most of all, I'd like to thank y'all. Y'all, the people of, um, the people of Hong King. Uh, the people of Chung Kong. The people of King Kong. Now I realize, y'all, the people of King Kong Island are facing a major threat to regional stability. Who we all know what that threat is. Godzilla. Godzilla's been terrorizing the people of Japan for decades. I mean, we've all seen the documentaries. But according to our intelligence, Godzilla is hiding out in the mountains of Japan. Therefore, in our war against terror, I've authorized the deployment of 100,000 troops to go on up there to Japan Island to flush that critter right out of the hills. And I promise, we'll catch that varmint dead or alive. The second aspect of our peace envoy to Asia is to establish ties with our friends, our allies, our neighbors, our enemies. But most importantly, to establish meaningful dialogue with North Korea. According to our intelligence, North Korea has ties with Godzilla. We also understand the leader of that their nation, Kim Jong is ill. He's very ill. Therefore, to assist their country on the road to recovery, I've authorized the deployment of another 100,000 troops on up there to North Korea to assist Colonel Kim, but most importantly, to protect the Colonel's secret recipe for KFC. Thank you very much. I'm Tom Smith.